All right, I'm back. Just had to switch over on the on Twitch there, switch the titles over. Hopefully, it is populated correctly as showing the Crooked Man on Twitch. Now, I have not played this game at all yet. Ooh, come on now. Ooh. 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 Okay, load, start. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Let's full screen it. That's kind of glitchy. Oh, oh. There we go. Crooked Man Start. This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque contents from a frame of planet if you feel like you can't handle it. Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble with these rules. Conflict with the rules of the author. Cite the rules on the site. Take priority. So please check. No reaper Whatever, whatever, whatever. We don't give a shit about that. That's some bullshit. We don't need all that damn. Was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. Found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. Bought a crooked cat. Which caught a crooked mouse. And they all live together in a crooked little house. I'm gonna pause it right there because I'm gonna go get my chicken. The screen is black. It's not working? It's not capturing? Hmm. Hmm. Oh man, it won't show it. It won't show it in full screen. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I wonder. Ha! Boom. Boom. Suck it. I think this will be good enough, won't it? That's good enough, guys. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and I'm gonna grab some chicken. So I'll be back.
All right. Let's give this a shot. Alexa, Twitch lights off. Okay. <clears throat> Can't really be very dark. <coughs> <coughs> it was not 10 minutes, YOLO. You don't even know. You don't even know. Oh, what? Oh, we're all right. Oh, my friends are talking about me. Oh, man. That's kind of sad. Hmm, your stream stopped for some reason. That's a sweet boat, dude. We saw it earlier. <clears throat> it's a badass, like, attack boat. We had two. Mm. Okay, so our laundry's in there. Our office is in there. Don't want to go. Yeah, bathtub. Would you stop? Oh, that's creepy. Because now, who was crying?
Um, yeah, I'm just taking a break. Celestial. I uh, I wanted to play Crooked Man because Baron was on. Told him I'd play it today since he got it for me. And this is it. We just started. What the fuck is that noise? Excuse me. Holy moly. Didn't I check the sink? Oh, there we go. Under the bed? Oh, great. Right on, Celestial. Thanks for the lurk. We're at three average viewers for the month. Starting this month, starting first of this month. We're at 3.0 average viewers. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? Alzheimer's. Wild Arms 3. Hell yeah, dude.
I don't know what that noise was. It sounded to me like that somebody was like pushing something. Mmm. Okay, it was the chair. <clears throat> Yeah, Zaphod, there's a chair here. <sighs> What's going on, buddy? Alright, so we got a leaflet for school. We got another phone call. We're playing the Crooked Man. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we just. The chair. Oh, now the chair moved again. Whatever. Alright, let's get this damn phone. Does it still say Far Cry 5? It wasn't, it wasn't adjusting, it wasn't taking it very well. When I was trying to do that earlier. It didn't seem like it wanted to update. I don't know if you have the same problem or not, but... It seems like I'll sit there and I'll copy and paste and I'll copy and paste and I'll put the shit in there and put the shit in there and I save and I submit and I apply and I done. All this shit and it still... It seems like Twitch wants to just suck ass. Alright, we'll see if that updates it or not. Thanks, Zephod. Baron's got a chair there, too. Oh, whoops. Zephod, we hit uh, hit three average viewers as of the first of the month. We got the 3.0. We've secured our 50 uh, our 50 streamers. We just got done doing some Far Cry for a couple hours. We got the Crooked Man here. Um, I, well, it says for 30 days, and so this is just since the first of the month. I doubt I got three last month, so I don't know. I, I didn't see an email, but, um, yeah, I've just got some Twitch ones from my export to YouTube and from purchasing bits yesterday, <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, I would guess, I mean, it's going to be, what, we're like, how many days into this month are we? 12? So like 20 more days, like at the most, for affiliate, assuming that we keep having viewers, so. <clears throat> After this, I think I'm going to play Rise of the Dragon. I feel like maybe... <sighs> I appreciate that, dude. I always leave on yours, like... Right now I'm streaming uh, YOLO. I've got YOLO up on the other on the uh, laptop over here, and I've got him all the way down the volume, and then I turn the volume down on my computer, so I don't hear the damn thing. But you know, it's 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 helping him get a view. So I appreciate that. El Don was helping me out the same way. I know Celestials helped me out the same way. So yeah, you guys are all helping me out. I appreciate it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna play some Rise of the Dragon later. Maybe maybe wrap up a day on Final Fantasy 13. What is that, the shower? Or that's a TV. It's like static on the TV, isn't it? Okay. Okay, it said sink.
There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a crooked little house. Get in my fucking... My first impressions of this game... One, I wish I didn't have my fucking bright light staring at me right in the face. I do like how eerie it is. With like, like out, without the music, because we don't have any music playing, so it's very eerie. It's very quiet. Um, it does suck. That the screen's not open all the way. Um, but um, I'm intrigued. I'm interested. I want to keep going. I want to see what's happening. <laughs> Help me. The coffee's spelling out. You gotta be. Yeah, you guys should check out Rise of the Dragon after this. Rise of the Dragon's like an old game from like the mid '90s, like a Windows 3.1 game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna maybe just play that a little bit after this. Um, just because I really want to start playing it for some reason. I don't know. Well, David's having a hard time with his internet, or with his uh, moving into the new house, new apartment. Oh, it's in first floor, my bad. I didn't realize we're on. Should be right here. I didn't look at Lisa. Damn it. Um Lisa 999, right? Oh, yeah, I've seen this shit. Yeah, this game's weird as hell, right? Is it a roguelike? Rogue Rogue type, rogue like, rogue type. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. It doesn't say that. I was just thinking, I know I've seen that game before. So I was thinking maybe it was, but okay. whoops, here's the room. Oh, we got footsteps now. Footsteps going to the crack. We got a key. I must be David. That must be David, yeah?
I can't go out? What is that noise? What do you guys think it is? That's one thing that sucks so far, is I gotta try and figure out what the fuck the noises are. I mean, I clicked on the computer. It sounds like a fax machine to me. Oh. Oh, a radio in the closet. Hmm. Guess you just gotta click on shit till something opens up. Yeah, it sounded like a phone to me, but the phone didn't work. Yeah, like dial up with a modem. Game's over. Who's played this game before? How do you guys? Any of you guys played this game? How long is it, Baron? Riding on a limo, hell yeah.
So what is that? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a three by three grid of something that looks like a square. We are in the upper right most square. There's a crowd. Me, treasure hunt. To your mom, dad. Okay. Oh, let me close my window. Fucking house is getting cold. So, yeah, we need to go find the damn treasure. There's a, there's a door locked with a passcode in that left hallway there. We have a key for one of the rooms. Is that the key, the room that we went into? It's locked. Okay, so we gotta remember that one. Okay, so now we gotta look for a treasure. There's th three by three. Aren't there three? Aren't there nine tables in here? Mm, maybe not. This is called the Crooked Man. Uh, Baron. Damn it. It's another floor. Baron sent me this game play and so we're checking it out we had a really good time with Camp Sunshine so it was a special place she loved the pretty room with its big mirror she would wonder what to wear for dinner but now it's just me thought it might help to come here but it didn't there's only emptiness So maybe we get a key to the library. 201 to 205. Did, did we see a number on the... Well, I have absolutely no idea what to do now, so that's great. Treasure chest. Oh yeah, we got the other. I was just thinking that too. No, not really. Okay, are there nine tables in here? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Okay, we got a gold key, so now... Now we can open up something. So what was locked? Was it the library? Different key. Key to 108. Okay. Come back here and get a book at some point. All right, it was one oh eight, right? Seven to one, whatever the hell it said was over here, I think. School leaves the brass key. Public strap, paper strap, cigarettes. Okay. Uh, what's up, Eldon Solo? Yeah, we're in a hotel now. So. We found out that there, we got this address in this hotel where maybe the previous tenant of David's apartment went. And now that we've come here, we found out that the previous tenant came here with like his wife. This is like their special place is the hotel. And um, now we're like trying to like look around and see, can we push something? I just got in this room and it just says there's something on top. It's not very intuitive, can I, I can't jump. See you later, Zaphod. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Can you guys see what my shirt says? Oh, no, you probably can't. Let's see. Can you read it? Mm. I doubt it. Anybody, anybody able to read it? All right, something on top, something on top. Yeah, but whatever, I mean. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> El Don Solo knows what it is. <laughs> yeah, Celestial got it, right on. Um, Oh, now we're talking. Okay, all right. Only took me half an hour to figure that one out. Can I? It says, fuck you. Got wire cutters? Oh, well, we have this door over here that's got...
Okay, 106. Yeah, well, the other room, the other hallway starts at 107, so we should be able to find 106 should be right here. No? 101, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Bathroom. Tornado. Really? You just had to tell me how to play this game? I already knew that the second it popped up. So, a doorknob? I wonder if that would work on a door with no knob. Is that what doorknobs are used for? <laughs> I'm digging the ambiance of it. It's pretty good. I'm kind of still, still pretty curious. See if there's any items I needed in there. Locked with the passcode, okay. We said to go find Sissy. The only place that we saw Sissy was at the piano, but she's not up there. Okay, so we're just gonna keep checking. <laughs> Game over. Got the girl.
comfy. That one just said it's locked. Room 112. I should read the voices? Should I read Sissy's voice like this? It'd be very high pitched. Da David could be all, you know, nervous and w wavering. Kind of un unsure of himself. Uh, apparently, a bit of a stutter. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't fucking know what I'm trying to do here anymore. Let's see here. <laughs> My name is David Hoover. Quality content. Read Sugar Tot's voice like that? Fuck it, game over. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Dude. <laughs> A scooter is a sailboat! Oh shit, yeah. All I did was give us another brass key, huh? Oh shit, dumbass. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm not that dumb. But when I've been using keys to unlock shit, I haven't had to go in my inventory to fucking get it. Yeah, yeah, there we go.
We could do that. I, uh, Celestial's gonna help me with Nightbot this weekend. We just gotta get it going on it. was this thing with a book which he changed up every month. Well, we were just having problems with Nightbot for some other, like, you say it isn't that hard, but you were the guy that was getting banned for it, remember? We were trying to fix it for you. changed up every month. Uh, well, it says book club of the month is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. There we go. Okay, chapter one, story of the door. Mr. Utterson, the lawyer, was a man of a rugged countenance that was never light lighted by a smile, cold, scanty, and embarrassed in discourse. Backwards and sentient, lean, long, dusty, dreary, and yet somehow lovable. Friendly meetings, and when the wine was to his taste, something eminently human beaconed from his eye, something indeed which never found its way into his talk, but which spoke not only in these silent symbols of the after-dinner face, but more often and loudly in the acts of his life. He was austere with himself, drank gin when he was alone, to mortify a taste for vintages, and though he enjoyed the theater, had not crossed the doors of one or twenty years. But he had an approved tolerance for others, sometimes wondering almost with envy at the high pressure of spirits involved in their mid, uh, misdeeds and in any extremity inclined to help rather than to reprove. Jesus, like, okay, so I think 120, that evening Mr. Utterson came home to his bachelor house in somber spirits and sat down to dinner without relish. It was his custom of a Sunday when the meal, when this meal was over to sit close by the fire, a volume of some dry divinity on his reading desk until the clock of the neighboring church rang out the hour of 12 when he would go so uh, soberly and gratefully to bed. On this night, however, as soon as the cloth was taken away, he took up a candle and went into his business room. There he opened his safe, took from the most private part of it a document endorsed on the envelope as Dr. Jekyll's will, and sat down with a clouded brow to study, it, study its contents. The will was holograph for Mr. Utterson, though he took charge of it, and now that it was made, had refused to lend the least assist assistance in the making of it. It provided not only that, in case of the decease of Henry Jekyll, MD, DCL, LLD, whatever, okay, can I, I, I can't scroll down the paper, apparently. Nearly a year later, in the month of October 18, Fuck, man, like, there's a lot of... <sighs> We're going to go look at the passcode and see what format it's in.
Shall I let it get me? Dude, it's freaking going quick. Can I sprint? Yep, go fuck yourself, game. All right, well, we'll play that another time. Because <laughs> fuck that. It was like a half an hour I spent in that hotel. It was just gone. I was just thinking, too, I need to, like, is it going to prompt me to, like, save anymore? But, um, yeah, screw that shit. I don't know. I like the game, kind of. It's not bad. I'm not really sure how to get away from that monster, though. Like, he was running pretty quick. He was definitely running pretty quick. I thought I'd outsmarted him. He did a better job of chasing me than the fucking Isaac, the fucking deadly bear at Camp Sunshine. Hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll cancel that. That'll just be the very first video um, in the series. We'll do a ser we'll do a playlist uh, of the Crooked Man. But no, I think it's pretty cool. I like it. It's had some good jumps and stuff. But anyways, uh, so I want to play Rise of the Dragon for an hour, at least. 7, 7.20 at night, huh? Really was wanting to beat Far Cry or Final Fantasy today, though. Fuck. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go to Final Fantasy. Mm. Why don't you guys choose? Far Cry 5, Rise of the Dragon. It's an old point-and-click adventure game. It's like an uh, old PC game. It's really neat. I really like it. It's fun. It's like a very, it's like a futuristic setting. Uh, or Final Fantasy Thirteen Three. So Thirteen Three, Far Cry Five, Rise of the Dragon. Rise of the Dragon. I bet you we could beat within like an hour or two as well. It's a pretty short game. Baron says Far Cry. Alright, we'll go back to Far Cry then. Um, Cause yeah, fuck that dude. Fuck, that fucking zombie. Ran after my shit. Anything on my wish list on sale? Nothing. That's right. Steam Summer Sale is coming soon, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm just going to kill it. I'm going to kill the stream. Switch everything over on Twitch to show Far Cry. And then we'll go ahead and uh, play some more Far Cry 5. So I'll be right back. One minute. 